No estaba grabando. Bueno, <clears throat> now it's recording. So thank you very much for that punctuality. Thank you very much for being here on time. We know that the class starts at 8 a.m., right? 8, 8 p.m., sorry. 8 p.m. And it goes from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. We're going to start today. And we're going to finish. Let me see. Hopefully, we're going to finish November 27, right? That is the date we are supposed to finish this class. So once again, thank you very much for that punctuality. And I'm going to start with today's attendance. Uh, just to remind you, the camera, camera should be on. The camera should be on. Si tienen ahí un inconveniente, pero siempre recordemos to turn on the camera, right? That is. So thank you, Jorge, and thank you, Marco, for having the cameras on. You know that is a requirement from INSAFORP to be the in ownership, okay? So thank you. I'm gonna start <clears throat> with today's attendance. When you hear your name, when you switch to your number, yeah. you say present or you say I'm here, okay? I am. Okay, I'm going to start. Adán Antonio Ramirez Aguirre. Present teacher. Carlos Amilcar Campos Palencia. Present. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present teacher. Edgar Edmilson Reyes Portillo. Present teacher. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Jonathan Standes Pérez López. Present. Es Good Stanley. evening. Standes is correct. Standes is correct. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera. Jorge Ernesto López Rivera, ¿no? Present teacher. Sorry, I have met the computer. It's okay. José Ernesto Alemán García. José Ernesto Alemán García. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar. Present teacher. Okay. Marco Antonio Vanegas Corlato. Present teacher. Okay. ¿Es Corlato correcto? Mm, no, eh, Corleto. Corleto, ok, aquí está escrito Corlato. Vamos a ver si se puede modificar. Ok, thank you. Uh, Mario Antonio Reyes Percanza. Present teacher. Okay. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. No, Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. No. Marvin Enrique. No, sorry. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. I'm here. Okay. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present teacher. Okay. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present teacher. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. No. I'm here. <clears throat> okay. Noé Aníbal González López. Good evening, teacher. Present. Excellent. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Salvador Orlando. Okay. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. No. Nope. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. En Griselda Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. Okay. 
Okay, so we're gonna start with today's class anyways. I'm gonna send a message. Just wait a minute, just to remind everyone that we have the class. Wait a minute. Hello. Okay, so I send the message so everyone can connect to the class. So we already went through the attendance. Thank you very much again for the punctuality. You know, it's 8.07 already, so it's time for the class. So now I can introduce myself correctly, right? So my name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas. I'm going to be your teacher uh, for, this, uh, for this course, for this module. And I hope that you learned a lot and I hope that the classes are really good for you and you can understand. You know that the classes have to be in English, right? We have to have the classes in English, but if you have questions, if you don't understand, si tienen preguntas, no me entienden, you can ask me, okay? And I can repeat it. Spanish, no nos dejan usar mucho Spanish porque we are learning English, right? Pero si es necesario, like a fully percent, I am sorry, allergies for the rain. So uh, if it is full necessary to use Spanish, maybe we can use it. But I would rather go with English, okay? I will try to speak slow and I will try to use uh, basic vocabulary so you can understand me. Yes? You're following me. You, you, yes, you understand? Yeah, a little. Yes, teacher, yeah. yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. That's what I did. Yes, teacher. Because I know you are beginner number five, right? So you are almost intermediate level. So, yeah, I suppose that you can understand a little bit about me. Well, about what I speak. So now, I don't know you. Maybe you know each other. Maybe you have been together in other groups but I don't know you, right? This is my first time being your teacher, right? So I don't know you. So um, just for you to know, you can call me Miss Diana or you can call me Miss because teacher means docente, okay? So coloquialmente, it's correct, right? So when you say teacher, teacher, yeah. But it's better to say Miss, okay? Miss or Miss Diana, which is my name, or Miss Rodriguez, if you want to call it like that, okay? And so I'm going to give my introduction, and then I would like to get to know you guys, okay? So you can tell me your name, your age, where you live, and things like that, right? Just to get to know each other, para irnos conociendo un poquito, right? So here I go first. So hello again, everyone. My name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas. I am 29 years old. I am a teacher. I have been teaching online for about three years since the pandemic started in 2020. And I have been teaching English since 2015, if I believe, yeah. And I have been working with Insafor since 2018, okay? And I am a teacher at a public school as well. And I teach little kids but I prefer to work with adults, right? Because the little kids, eh, right? Sometimes they get out of hand. So, um, and I live in Usulután and I work at Inglés Corporativo virtually online, okay? So now let's see you. Jorge, what can you tell me about yourself? Jorge Ernesto. Microphone. Sorry, I forget. Yeah. Uh, hello, Miss. Uh, I work at the university, Dr. Jose Matias Delgado, uh, like superintendent and coordinator uh, systems. Uh, I have a uh, 29 years old. You are. And yes, I am, uh, I am. I am. I am 20. Uh, 40, 49, oh, sorry, 49. 49 years old, and 
I want to, to learn so much English. Okay, excellent, Jorge. Thank you. Thank you for okay. your participation. Let's go now with Marco Antonio Vanegas. Um, hello, teacher. Hello. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, uh, uh, my name is Marco Antonio Vanegas, and I have 20 years old. And I live in Santa Ana City. And I work in group LGB. And I want to learn more vocabulary for for I can speak more fluid. Okay, okay. Excellent, Marco. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Okay. Now let's go with Sergio Adolfo. Good evening, Ms. Diana. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, my name is Sergio Adolfo Fernandez. I am 34 years old. And actually, I live in San Marcos, Salvador. Uh, I work to technical support and Grupo Ejes Company. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Sergio. Thank you. Okay, let's go with Jonathan Stanless. Okay, teacher. Okay, Miss Diana, sorry. My name is Jonathan Stanless Perez. Um, I am 32 years old. I work in Pro Busqueda. And my role is investigator. And I have a new opportunity for um, to learn a new language and nice to meet you. Okay, nice to meet you, Jonathan. Just, I'm curious, me, me, me captó mucho la atención cuando dijo, lo busqué de, you're an investigator. Yes. Like private investigator? For, uh, for uh, the children in the El Salvador world, works. Wow, okay, okay. So for the children who got lost, in the Salvador a, work? Yes, yes. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, thank you for your work, Jonathan. Excellent. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, let's go now with Miguel Cortez. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Miguel Cortez. I, I was born in San Sanate, but I live in I like to learn English uh, every day and I work in global alimentos and I like to to share uh, experience with with a uh, classmate and my I, my co-worker and nice to meet you, everyone. Nice to meet you, Miguel. Thank you. Let's go with Karen Castro. Finally, I got a lady. <laughs> Hi, Miss. Nice Hi. to meet you. Nice to meet you. And nice to meet you for everything. Uh, well, my name is Karen Berenice Castro. I like Berenice. <laughs> okay. And well, about me, um, I study. I studied uh, international affair uh, in the University of, of El Salvador. Uh, right now, I work in uh, North Atlantic International. It's about uh, my company. It's about uh, import of cars, and it's interesting. For this reason, I want to learn more English because uh, I need it. And I live in Casal de Peque. Okay. And I have the the opportunity to learn right now, and it's it's fine. Excellent, good job, Karen. I heard a lot of international, international, international in your yeah. <laughs> So yeah, you learn. You need to learn the international language, English. Yes. Right. Excellent. I know. Thank you.
Dame un segundo que uh, se me desconfiguró. Ok, ok. So, here we go. Can you hear me? ¿Puedo escuchar? Yeah, ok. Thank you. Now, let's go with... Déjenme que no me deja ver esto. Just give me a second. Just quite ese mensaje de la pantalla. Ah, Dan Antonio. Let's go with Adán Antonio Ramírez. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good to meet you. My name is Adán Ramírez. I, I have a 41 years old. I work in Erwin Williams, 16 years, 16, 6 years. Uh, I am a content. I live in San Salvador. Okay. I have uh, my wife and two sons. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Thank you, Adan. Excellent. Nice to meet you. At Salvador Veracruz. Okay. Hello, Denise. Hello, guys. Uh, my name is Salvador Veracruz, but you can say me Shamba. Uh, I work at Corporación JSKL. I am 14 years. Uh, I am 40 years old. I live in San Salvador. I am married. I am uh, one year. Uh, she is two years. And that's it. Nice to meet you, everyone. Uh, interesting, Salvador. So you work at JSKL? Yeah. So when you are like a what? Uh, uh ready host, yes. You're a host? Yes, ready host. Oh. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, amazing. I can hear your voice. You have the tone of voice. <laughs> okay. Yes, excellent. Thank you, Salvador. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's go with Anibal. Uh, really, uh, the miss uh, everybody. Uh, my name, my name is uh, Noé Aníbal González López. Uh, I am uh, 45 years old. Uh, am I, uh, I am my, my main technician and, and company in Aeroman. Uh, it's my pleasure. Okay, excellent. And Aeroman, you need English, right? Yes. Okay, excellent, Aníbal. Nice to meet you. Martin Arguello. O Arguello, si lo estoy diciendo, am I saying it right? Hello, good night. Hello, good evening. Um, yes, it is uh, Arguello. Arguello, so Gutierrezis. Yes. Okay. Um, okay, uh, my name is Marvin Arguello. I am um, uh, 37 years old. <laughs> 37. 37 years old. Uh, I am a compliance officer and I work in a, a cooperative. Okay. Yes, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Marvin. Thank you. Okay, so we just got Gabriela here, but Gabriela, now is your turn to introduce yourself. Good evening. Good evening. Um, my name is Gabriela. I am 25 years old. I work in a clothes factory. And I study English and <laughs> um, English corporative. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gabriela. Thank you very much. Okay, now let's go with Noé Pérez. Hi, good evening, everyone. Good evening. Well, my name is Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. I'm 33 years old. I live in Suyapango. Um, I am auto automotive technician, so I fix cars, right? <laughs> You're a mechanic. Yeah. Okay, so excellent, Noe. So you work mm -hmm. for yourself? No, I work in a in a garage. 
it like in a work be like in a car shop yeah okay excellent Noe. nice to meet you nice to meet you too let's go with edgar reyes okay. okay good evening everyone my name is edgar reyes um i am 28 years old i work in puerto corsaín la union my role in the company is uh for security officer and marine advisor. Wow, that's amazing. Okay, yeah. nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Excellent. Let's go with Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Hi, good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, everybody. My name is Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. I like uh, Mauricio Rojas. I uh, 26 years old, I work in, in the farm of coffee location in the Concepcion de Ataco, Departamento de Aguachapan, uh, and the price is Cafe OH, SADC. Uh, nice to meet you. Excellent, Mauricio. So you work in the, in the, I don't know how to say this, like in the collective taste of El Salvador, right? Like we all like coffee in this place. So yeah, yeah, Yes. <laughs> it is very important. Your job is very important. <laughs> Thank Excellent. Thank you, Mauricio. Let's go with Daniel Sifontes. Good evening, <clears throat> Miss Diana. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. I, my name is Daniel Sifontes. I am 55 years old. I am a accountant. I work at uh, Grupo Remor, Antiguo Puscatlán. I live in Mexicanos, San Salvador. Oh, okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you, Daniel. Nice to meet you. Okay. Let's go with Marlon Flores. Hi, everyone. I'm Marlon Flores. I'm 27 years old. I live in San Salvador and I work in BMB. SADCB. Okay, BMP. Is that like what? BMB, BMB. BMB. Yes. Okay, and what is your job there? Can you tell us? Uh, driver. Oh, you're a driver. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Thank you, Marlon. Okay, let's go with Edgar Reyes. No, ya se presentó. I'm sorry, Edgar ya fue. Uh, but... Let me see. Mario, Mario Reyes. Uh, hi, Miss. Hi. My name is Mario Reyes. I'm half, uh, 44 years old, and I work in sales. And I hope to to learn a little bit more with this class, English. That's it. So. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Nice to meet you, Mario Reyes. Okay, now let's go with, let me see, let me see, Carlos Amilcar. Yeah. Good evening. Uh, I am Amilcar. Uh, I work uh, how, like technical support. Uh, I am working on Grupo Eje Company. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Carlos. Sara Raquel. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Uh, so my name is Sara Chavez. I am 26 years old and I live in Antigua, Cuscatlan, and I work at a call center for a supermarket. So you work at a call center in English? No, in Spanish. It's okay. customer service. But soon you're going to be working in the workforce. Anyway. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> okay, excellent, Sara. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Okay, and we have Esmeralda Portillo. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Uh, my name is Esmeralda Portillo. Uh, I live in Lourdes, Colón. I am 30 years old and I work in Alas Doradas. Alas Doradas, what is that? Yes. 
is manufacturing paper. Oh, okay. So you manufacture paper. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Esmeralda. Nice so, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I think I'm not missing anyone. <laughs> I think I went through everyone. If I'm missing someone, you tell me, miss, it's me. You didn't mention me, okay? Because I was taking notes. I was writing the names. And I was like, yeah, I, I went through this one already. So, yes. Okay, so nice to meet you all. Um, I hope this is not the only time that I can hear your voices because sometimes you get shy. And I ask you, hey, do you want to participate? Do you want to say something? So I hope this is not the only time that I can hear your voice, okay? I hope that we can participate a lot in this class. So um, something that I just want to say is... Um, in my groups, in my classes, I like the groups to be um, working together, okay? We can learn better if we, got, if we work together. Because here is the thing, you guys. Some people can be really good at English and some other need more help in English, okay? So we can help the ones who need help and we can get like that opportunity to learn from that experience as well. So nobody knows more than anyone here, okay? Any, no one can say, I know que feo el inglés de esa persona. No, no one can say that, okay? Because we are all learning English here, here. And here's the thing, you guys. If I correct you something, or I say, hey, listen, you need to do this better or stuff. Y dicen, no, es que la misma pasa corrigiendo. Pues por eso me paga, okay? <laughs> So you can have a better English. So you have a better English experience and all, okay? So I'm not gonna be like the teacher, like, no, you say it wrong, repeat that again, blah, blah, blah. No, I'm not gonna be like that. But I will try to help you as much as I can, okay? And everyone here, we need to be cooperative and we need to collaborate with everyone and we need to be working together because that is the main um, purpose here, okay? I cannot make fun, I cannot make fun of my classmates First, I have to help them, okay? Because we all learn together, yes? So, um, so far, so far it's like hasta ahora. So far, what I heard is good English level. I can complain about your English level. Maybe just one tiny, tiny mistake, well, or two tiny mistakes. The first one was uh, good night. You know that good night is not okay because good night is bye-bye, okay? Good night is when you're leaving, bye. Or when you're going to bed. But good evening is when you say hello, okay? So that is the first mistake we're gonna correct that we need to say good evening, okay? And the other little tiny mistake is that you were saying, I have 40 years old, I have 20 years old, okay? In English, the age is not something that we have, yeah? In English is something we are. So you say it with the verb to be, I am, 29. I am 40. You can say only the number. Or you can say I am 29 years old. I am 40 years old. I am. Okay. That is just like the two tiny mistakes that I found. And they are not like huge mistakes, gigantic mistakes. So these are things that we can correct. Okay. On time. So here is the question. Who is working or who has access to the platform already? Que tienen el acceso de platform? Yes. 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 yes, you have the access? Okay, excellent. So, uh, because you need, you know that even though we are here in the class and all, and we connect and we have the minutes and stuff, it is very important that we also are in the, we also are working in the platform, okay? So let's see. So if you have access to the platform, you're going to see these, okay? So this is your platform. Give me a second, let me move it. I'm sorry, but when it rains, I got under this. Okay, <clears throat> so this is the one that is supposed to be uh, your curse, okay? So we have uh, this one, Principiante Module number five. So we click on there. And then you're going to see the platform. Obviously, we have four sections and we have four weeks class. We are going to do one section per week. Also, another thing very important here, as you know, is the student's manual 
P5. When you click on there, okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, you are going to have the material for this program, okay? You can see this module number five, National English for Work Program in El Salvador, okay? So if you want to check it, you can, for example, let's go to page number seven. Okay, here we have conversations and we have activities that we need to do in first. So for example, this is gonna be the one today, right? So we're gonna be practicing these questions. So we're gonna be practicing this conversation. Um, so again, it is very important. You have the curves, then you have the yeah. student's manual. So they are things, those are things very important that we can do here, okay? Now, let's go, wait a moment. Okay, so those are things very important that we have there and that we need to be practicing and we need to be working. For example, in every curse, we have, okay, this, here. So in this part, as you know, the videos are going to be here, the videos uh, of each class. So for example, tomorrow, you're going to have upload the video in this part. Then this is the important part, tarea number one, we have tarea number two, and I think we have five homeworks per week. So basically you can be doing one homework per day, and then you're gonna be done by Friday. Every Friday, I'm going to upgrade your grades to the platform, and every week I'm gonna be sending a report to the INSA for it that you are learning English and you are doing the homeworks on the platform, okay? Because that is very important. As you know, the requirements are to be present in the class. And as you know, present is not just saying present means I'm here, present or I'm here, whatever. The attendance is being here, fully being here. What does it mean? Being here every minute, right? Since the class start till the class finishes. Another thing that is very important is to have the names, okay? The names that you have there, full names as in the ID. Because when they take the attendance, and I'm gonna say this in Spanish real quick, tienen que tener sus nombres completos. Porque cuando pasan asistencia no se pasa por, por ejemplo, que yo me llame Samsung Galaxy S, no sé qué cosa, ¿verdad? No se va a tomar así la asistencia. La asistencia se toma por los minutos que usted está conectado con su nombre completo, así como aparece en el DUI. Así que si usted pudiera modificar su nombre para que aparezca completo, sería, eh, bueno, Salvador, dígame. Eh, Tiene que ser completo, dos, dos nombres, dos apellidos, o Salvador Veracruz está bien. Eh, sería mejor los dos nombres y los dos apellidos. Okay. Ya, así como en el DUI. Yes. Si no saben cómo cambiarlo, se pueden ir a la parte de participante, da clic en su nombre y le va a aparecer la opción de cambiar nombre. O si están en una computadora donde están las camaritas, ahí donde aparece la suya, pone el clic sobre su, pone el mouse sobre su cámara, donde aparece usted, y se va a ver ahí tres puntitos. Ahí le va a dar renombrar o cambiar nombre. Y le pone el nombre completo, por favor, porque eso es una, uh, es un requisito. Yes utiliza por obtener el nombre completo, la otra es tener la cámara encendida la, todo el tiempo. También se entiende, ¿verdad? Como que llegó a hablarme el niño y me botó el teléfono y algo, y yo apago la cámara, ¿verdad? O de repente pasaron unas sombras atrás y yo no quiero asustar a mis compañeros porque en mi casa asustan, apago la cámara, ¿verdad? Si usted quiere apagar la cámara unos segundos, unos minutos, por A o B motivo, está bien pero tener la cámara apagada todo el tiempo no es correcto, porque la asistencia se toma también como que, eh, mucha gente dice, pero es que aprender en línea no es igual que aprender, eh, aprender en línea no es igual que aprender en, en, en presencial, dice la gente, y no sé qué, no sé cuánto, claro, porque usted pone el teléfono y en la cama y se va un rato a pasear, Ay, es que yo no aprendo en línea, pues usted no está <ríe> full en la clase, anda ya paseando un rato, ¿verdad? Y no, pues no, mejor es estar fully in the class, apago la cámara unos minutitos, si lo necesito, es ok, 
pero luego vuelvo a encender y estar presente. Tengo mi cuadernito, estoy copiando, estoy escuchando, estoy viendo lo que mandan, estoy haciendo los ejercicios. So, si me, if I'm involved, si estoy como envuelto en ese aprendizaje, va a suceder. Si no, no. Ok. So, por eso, en este momento estamos, quiero ver, 21 personas. Deberíamos estar más, porque según la asistencia son, déjenme, voy a chequearlo. According to the attendance, you are 24. Son 24. 24. Y solo están 20, porque yo cuento como la number 21. So, 20, so we are missing four people today, four students today. So, les digo, de nuevo, eh, la asistencia es muy importante, es muy importante tener la cámara encendida, el micrófono apagado, a menos que vayan a participar, porque si no, de repente se va a escuchar ahí que no le tienes que sacar el pollo, yo les dije que pusieran el vino frijol. No, ¿verdad? No queremos ahí que se escuchen, porque ya me ha pasado que en algunas clases han salido ahí contenido para algunos memes, pero se saben que estas clases van para YouTube, ¿ya? Saben que van para YouTube y pues no queremos que después se hagan virales. Yes. So, entonces vamos a tener mucho cuidado con el micrófono. Solamente cuando eh, estemos participando, encienden su micrófono. Si no, apaguemos para que no. Yo este micrófono que tengo aquí ya todo remendado, pero se supone que cancela el sonido. Así que por lo menos acá no van a escuchar nada raro. Esperaría yo. Right. Espero que también de su parte <ríe> tengamos ese micrófono solo para lo necesario, que es cuando participamos. También cuando les envío las salas de grupos pequeños, les espero que estén participando, espero que esté una participación activa, que todos estén eh, hablando, participando, eh, haciendo ejercicios, es la conversation, whatever, porque cuando yo estoy acá, no puedo dejar hablar a 20 personas al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? 20 people at the same time, that is not gonna happen. Pero si ustedes van a las salas de grupos pequeños y tienen la oportunidad de participar, espero que estén participando. De hecho, aquí en Zoom ya está la opción de que si yo los mando a trabajar en los grupos, yo veo, a mí me manda una lista de quienes están participando, me manda los micrófonos que están activos, me manda quienes tienen el micrófono apagado o mi cámara apagada, me manda todo el reporte. <ríe> Así que aunque yo no esté ahí, usted sabe que yo puedo estar ahí pues monitoreando todas las salas. Son muy pendientes de eso. Ok, so I'm going to switch back to English. Again, um, these are the requirements that I need you to follow. We already know them. You're not new to the program because this is your uh, level number five, right? You're in beginner number five. So you have been here since beginner number one and you know the rules. So I appreciate the people who have the complete names, who have the cameras on and who are actively listening and participating. Okay. Now, let's go back here. Recuerden que yo no los puedo obligar a compartir, eh, a, a, perdón, a cumplir los requisitos, pero ya está en ustedes también el poder hacerlo para continuar con las becas. Les prometo que estas clases las revisan en seis años y dicen, ay, ¿por qué ese participante no, no estaba ahí participando? Entonces, ahora están revisando clases de hace seis años. Imagínense, puede ser que dentro de, y, y de la nada se conectan personas de inglés corporativo o de la nada se conectan personas de Linsaforp y van a preguntar, ¿verdad? ¿Qué está pasando acá? So, mejor evitarles cualquier cosa y estar cumpliendo en following the rules, ¿ok? Miss, yo tengo una pregunta. Yeah. Eh, a veces por motivos de trabajo quizás sí me puedo conectar, pero eh, no puedo participar. Entonces, en las clases anteriores lo que hacíamos era que nos poníamos como oyentes y el teacher ya sabía que, que no podíamos participar, ¿verdad? En este caso sería igual o cómo lo manejaríamos? It's the same. It's the same thing. Solo lo ponen en paréntesis oyente. Pero en mi caso, pongan, no sé si con el otro teacher lo hacían, con el otro mister, ¿ok? Lo hacían, pero pongan oyente al inicio de su nombre. Porque cuando lo ponen al final, a mí no me deja ver el final de los nombres. ¿Yes? Entonces, mejor al inicio, si yo, antes de llamarle, si no tengo que entrar y ver, ah, está de oyente. O sea, lo ponen al inicio, antes de Esmeralda, por ejemplo, ponen entre paréntesis oyente, y ya sé que usted está oyente en esa clase. Ok, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Ya, yeah, eso, eso sucede. Ya, yeah, those are things that happen y se entiende, right? Pero, but, not all the time, ¿verdad? Todas las clases, cámara apagada, micrófono apagado, no participando, ya, yeah, that is not correct. Ok, let's go to the first part that we're going to work on this day. And we have two questions. Can you help me reading the question number one, please, Sergio Adolfo? Mm -hmm. 
What do you know about manufacturing? Excellent. Thank you, Sergio. So the question says, what do you know about manufacturing? You're going to share with your classmates what is the knowledge you have about the manufacturing processes, okay? So I know the manufacture happens in a factory. And yeah, you can tell me. Even if you work in a factory, you can tell me more. And I heard people that works in factories here, clothing factories and paper factories and stuff. Next question, Miguel Cortez. Can you help me with question number two, please? How does your company manufacture it? Okay, excellent, Miguel. So how does your company manufacture? What are you going to do in this activity? You're gonna explain what is the activity your company does and how do they manufacture? And you're gonna speak. This is a speaking activity. If you have, if you work in a manufacturing company, you have more information about this. And if not, you can just share. Podemos solo compartir, okay? Lo que sabemos. So, do you understand the activity that we're gonna do? Yeah, it's clear. Just conversation to talk about manufacturing. Yeah. 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 Antes de irnos, vamos a hacer un ejercicio. Quiero que todas las personas hagan el ejercicio conmigo. Bien, vuelvan a ver hacia arriba. Vuelvan a ver hacia abajo. Vaya, cuando me quieran decir que sí, le pueden hacer así. <risa> Ahora vuelvan a ver a la derecha. Vuelvan a ver a la izquierda. Ok, ese es, ¿no? Ok. En inglés y en español, the same. It's the same. Yes and no. So, de nuevo, ¿is the activity clear? <laughs> okay, that's better, even better. Okay, so let's go to the breaker rooms. No le digo la invitación, Karen. Sí, no, no, no. pero le di unirme y no me salió nada. Vaya, ahorita vamos a hacer el cambio entonces. Y a uh, Daniel, vaya, mire ahí. Check now.
Hello, hello. Remember to participate. Yes. No estoy en la sala. Solo estoy viendo aquí quienes están participating. Ok. Participemos ahí. Let's go. Thank you. 
Hello, welcome back. Well, okay. So I'm going to no, ask hey. this question uh, to some participants. Recuerden que cuando volvemos acá, el micrófono se activa. So you have to be careful with that, okay? Uh, I'm going to ask this question to Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela, what do you know about manufacturing? In my job, teacher. Well, in general, what do you know about manufacturing? Mm, I know about manufacturing clothes. I I know about cooking dinner. <laughs> um, I know about the study of man oh the no wait i i know about manufacturing the homework of my baby <laughs> you manufacture the fabrica la, la homework maybe sometimes <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you gabriela thank you Okay, so let's see another participant. Maybe Noe Aníbal. What do you know about manufacturing, Noe? Well, uh, it's in the process of the creating uh, goods or products for, on a large scale using specialized matching tools and labor. Okay, excellent. Good job. Excellent. Thank you very much. Let's go with Mario Antonio Reyes. What do you know about manufacturing, Mario? Yes, uh, well, uh, in my case, uh, my company, uh, manufacturing um, machine uh, to the construction, heavy machine. Okay, so you manufacture heavy machine for constructions. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Thank you, Mario. So who works? And I want you to raise your hand. I think one option so you can raise your hand. Who works in a company who manufactures that manufactures? Nobody works in a company that manufactures? Esmeralda. Okay. Only Esmeralda. Really? Okay, 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 okay. So Esmeralda, share with us, how does your company manufacture? Okay, I can't explain the process. Uh -huh. <laughs> but in Alas Doradas, manufacturing a paper tissue. Uh-huh, tissues, okay. Um, and that uh, papel toalla uh, papel de baño and servilleta oh alas doradas I think I know that I think I know it okay excellent thank yes. you Salda. okay so manufacture you guys is the process like you know when 
something goes through something and everything, mostly everything is manufactured, okay? Like in factories, for example, the cereal, for example, sugar, for example, I don't know what else can you think about, milk, everything, everything is manufactured, okay? It goes from the process with the raw materials. Do you know what is raw material? What is a raw material? Hey. Like materia prima? Exactly, Salvador. Thank you very much. So raw actually means like crudo, right? So raw materials are those materials that are not processed yet. So for example, corn is the raw material for different products, yes? Corn is the raw material for cereals. Corn is the raw material for tortillas. Corn is the raw material for many, 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 many other products, okay? So those uh, from the raw materials, from the process to, I don't know, I don't know, it can be like chemical processes. It can be like packaging processes. Packaging, do you know what is packaging? Yeah, like. Empaquetado. Exacto, Marlon, thank you very much. So now we're going to go with a conversation that talks a little bit about a process, okay? So this is the conversation. Now, I need you to understand something very important about having conversations in English. One thing is to have good pronunciation and the other thing is to have good intonation, yes? So good pronunciation is like every single word, but intonation is to put in that feeling on the conversation, yes? Nobody in Spanish should speak like this. Nadie en español habla de, hola, ¿cómo estás? Yo, muy bien. ¿Y tú, cómo estás? Gracias por preguntar. Nobody speaks like that. Ni, tal vez los niños chiquitos, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí, o más si son niños discovery, right? <laughs> so yes, they speak like that. But, we, hey, ¿qué onda? ¿Cómo está? Ah, qué compañero. ¿Y vos qué tal? ¿Cómo te Bien, ahí tranquilo. Okay. So that feeling, that's what I need to hear from you. So in the conversations, I don't want to listen to, hello, how are you? My name is Pablo. No, nah, I like that. No, no, no. So hello, how are you? My name is Pablo. What about you? Okay. A little bit of feeling, that feeling that like you understand what you're saying, okay? So I'm going to read the conversation twice. The first time for pronunciation and the second time for intonation, okay? The intonation is going to be that feeling when you are speaking, okay? Let's go. First, intonate, I mean, pronunciation. Just listen to the pronunciation, and then we we'll go with it. Mark, would you explain to us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of, listen, chocolate, not chocolate, chocolate. Like this all doesn't exist. Choc, chocolate, layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then finally we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? Miren, todo esto lo dije junto. I say it together. Eat it. Eat it. I'm not going to to lie, the amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have 
other products. We have a candy, candy, I'm sorry, candy bar and bubble gum. What is bubble gum? Chicle. Chicle. Exactly. Uh, bubble gum. Goma de masca. <laughs> well, yeah. With zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Yeah? Okay. Ahora les voy a mandar un audio al chat, group chat. Con la intro, la pronunciation. Para que puedan practicar. So you can practice. Okay. Sí, this is the group. Okay. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then finally we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay, what are you going to do right now? You're going to practice pronunciation. Okay, just pronunciation. In this part, only pronunciation. You're going to practice pronunciation, every word, si no saben cómo decir alguna palabra. We practice with the classmates. Then we're gonna come back. Luego volvemos, and I'm gonna give you intonation, okay? So now I'm gonna give you some time to go with intonation. Y después les voy a dar un tiempo para ir con pronunciation, with pronunciation. Do you understand the activity? Yes. yes. Yeah. I'm going to send you the yes. conversation. Okay. Here is the conversation. Okay. Now I'm going to send you to break rooms. Remember, we're going to be in different break rooms with different classmates. Please try to participate. I need everyone participate. Okay. Let's go. You can also share the screens. Share the screen. Ahí tienen los invites ya para que puedan ir. Edgar, ¿no llegó la invitación? Hola. Le escucho bien, suavecito. Ah, okay. Bueno, lo voy a mandar a la sala 3, pero no se vaya a unir ahí, por favor, no se una ahí. Va a unirse a la sala 4 cuando le mande, okay, cuando le caiga el de la 4. Ok, yo tengo de
Hello, Gabriela. Maybe turn off your camera before we go to the okay. break. Maybe it's the, okay. it's the internet. Now, let's see. Hello, hello, sorry, sorry que los interrumpa. Eh, recuerden que pueden compartir pantalla para que vean la conversation. Veo que la mayoría de grupos están sharing the screen, but some groups are not. Y tienen permiso, ¿ok?
to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers. And we have another product. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Layer of sliding almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I am not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider to customer. And we have another product. We have a candy bar and bubble gums with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Yeah. Thank you. Now, y cuando dice, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds, ¿cómo se dice? La... Sliced almonds. almonds. Sliced like almonds. almonds. Es sliced. como solo la I y la D, o como con una S por medio, sliced. Slide. 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 Okay, so they are opposite. <laughs> so <laughs> thick is uh, grueso and thin is delgado. Ah, uh, okay. A capa. Thick, grueso. Okay, like como añadimos una capa gruesa y la otra añadimos una capa delgada. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Miss. Okay, yes. Think later, okay. Ya no está acá. Plataforma y ahí se entra el, el PDF. Para el PDF de cargue un ratito. Ajá. En la página 8 creo que está en page number 8 or 9. Okay. ¿Y qué pasó? ¿Qué happened? Yes, there we are. Excellent. And we have other products. We have a tinsel and bubble gum and zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Take a look. Okay, thanks, guys. Thank you. Okay, I start. Um, Mark, will you explain use that the manufacturing processes? Absolutely. This is this is how uh, make, how make our sugar. First, we add thin layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of slight amount, almost. Sound great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But we have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Now I will mark. But okay. I don't know who will. Sarah? Uh, I will, yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, Mark, would you explain us what a manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, 
we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers. And we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Okay, let's take a look. Now okay. I will Anna. Okay, welcome back. So we practiced pronunciation. When I went to the break rooms, I could hear you practicing pronunciation because you were saying the words separately, right? So now I'm going to give you intonation. This is an example of what intonation is. Listen to the intonation, okay? <clears throat> Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Okay. Yo no soy robotico, ¿verdad? Like I'm a robot. Like I'm speaking like that. No. So it sounds a little bit more natural when speaking. So let me send you the audio with intonation so we can practice. And then I'm going to have some participants role play the conversation. Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing? <laughs> manufacturing. Mark, will you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then, finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. 
we consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. So if you pay attention, the first audio was one minute and 22 seconds. This one is 50 seconds, right? Because it's a little bit more uh, fast with fluency, okay? But before we go and practice with intonation, I would like to ask you, do you have any questions about pronunciations or meanings? Teacher, my partner uh, says about pronunciation, about thin, thin, uh -huh. thin, or thin, thin, thick layer. Thick. A thick. What is the meaning thick? Thick. Thick means grueso. Okay. It thin is the opposite, delgado. So a thick okay. layer is una capa gruesa. And a thin layer is una capa delgada. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Another question? About pronunciation? You know how to say almonds? No, almonds. You see, I, I don't say almonds. I say almonds. Like the L was D, almond. Uh, not like almonds, it's like almonds. The L is really short. Okay, so if you don't have more questions, then we're gonna be able to practice this conversation with intonation. Okay. I don't know why I feel like my computer is slow. Okay, there we go.
Hello, Edgar, what happened? ¿Lo sacó la sala? Edgar Reyes. Hello. Okay, hello everyone. Just two more minutes, two more minutes, and then we come back. And I'm gonna choose some participants to practice the conversation here, okay? Two more minutes. Vamos a ver, who are you going to choose? ¿Quiénes van a ser los afortunados? Who are going to be the chosen ones? Ok. Noé Pérez. En Noé Pérez, choose your partner. Elija su compañera. Choose your partner. Compañera. Um, Sergio Adolfo. Sergio Adolfo. So, Noé, you start. Ok. Ana, will you play us? Sorry. Mark, will you play us? what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we made our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sly almonds. 
Sounds great. And then? Finally, we are ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers. And we have our other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Excellent. Good job. Dame un aplauso a los compañeros. Aplausos. Excellent. Que no aplaudes envidia de mi mala. De la que no puedes dormir a uno en la noche. No, mentiras. <laughs> Vamos a hacer un few corrections. Un par de correcciones, ¿ok? Let's see. First, ¿ok? This one is like E. F first. First. Sliced. 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 Customers, customers, bubble, bubble, content, content. Okay, let's go with the next participants. I'm going to choose Jose Ernesto Alemán. Choose your partner, Jose Ernesto. Okay. Hey, Noé Pérez. Noé Pérez. Okay, Noé Pérez, you have been chosen. Okay. <laughs> Jose, okay. you start. Oh, no, pero Noé acaba de participar, ¿verdad? Yeah. No, no, Noé participó. I'm sorry, Jose. Antonio, Adán Antonio. Adán Antonio. Ok, let's go with Adán Antonio. Ok, uh, Jose, you start. Mars, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Adán. What happened to Adan Antonio? He's not here. Adan, 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 Adan. Oh, yeah, he's here. Bueno, Salvador le va a ayudar, dice. Thank you, Salvador. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thick layer of slime almost. Sound great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people? How are they with it? Can they eat? I am no. not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider to those, those customers. And we have a... Uh, and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gums with zero sugar content. Great, let's take a look. Okay, excellent. Good job. Un aplauso a los classmates. Good job. Thank you, Jose El Salvador. Let's make a few corrections. Wood, right? Like we don't say the letter L. It's like wood, wood, like madera, wood. Sounds, sounds, sounds. Dia, diabetic, diabetic. And we say all this together, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, okay? Those, those, those. and look, look, oh. okay? We're gonna have a final participation. And in this one, final participation, I wanna hear some ladies, come on, we can do it, ladies. Okay, Karen <laughs> Castro. It's going to be one of the ladies and the other okay. lady, it's going to be Sarah Raquel this time, okay? Okay. Okay. I am? Who's that? Anna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or, okay. Mark, would you explain us what the manufacturing process is? Absolutely. This is how we make our top seller. First, we add a thick layer of chocolate. Second, we add a thin layer of sliced almonds. Sounds great. And then? Finally, we add ginger. But what about people who are diabetic? Can they eat it? I'm not going to lie. The amount of sugar is too high. We consider those customers and we have other products. We have a candy bar and bubble gum with zero sugar content. Great. Let's take a look. Wow, ladies, you did a good job. Excellent. Give them an applause. Mm -hmm. Good job, ladies. Okay, so the only word will be like chocolate. 
chocolate, but besides that, good pronunciation, okay? So if you already saw, excellent, I think we have the pluses. Okay, if you already saw um, the words that are in bold, do you know what is bold? No, bold. Bold is negrita, like la letra. El tipo de font, yeah? Bold is negrita. Even if you have, I don't know if I have my word here and I have it on English. I think I have, my computer is on English. That's something that you can do. Eso es algo que pueden hacer. When you want to learn a second language, pongan todos sus devices in English, okay? That is going to help you. So like, when you click on the negrita, in English, will be negrita, okay? In English will be bold. And you will see the B, the letter B. You will see the B, okay? So if we, you can see the words here in bold, okay? You see that we have words to mark a step in progress, okay? These words, we use it to talk about a procedure, yeah? Like a manufacturing procedure. And as you can see here in the next page, we have some examples of these words. For example, we have first, first, second, third, and you can say then. This is like a word that you can repeat and repeat. Yeah, then, 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 después, después, then, 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 okay? Later, right? Later and after, they are similar meanings, okay? Later and after. Right after is like immediately, right? Right after, it's immediately. Next, it can be like then. Then and next, they are very similar. And the final step in a progress is finally, okay? Finally. So if you can see, we have a procedure here where they are using different, um, words to mark a step in progress. So for example, in this case, we're gonna talk about this procedure, a specific procedure that is here. I'm gonna read it and then I'm gonna have some participants, okay? First, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Second, separately combine flour, baking powder, and salt. Third, combine both mixtures with milk. Later, chill for one hour. After, roll the mixture to about a quart inch thick. Next, cut a cut cookies. Finally, bake for 10 minutes. Okay, uh, let's see. Marco Antonio, can you read number one, please, Marco Antonio? Okay. First, combine margarine, sugar, two eggs, and vanilla. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Noe, you, you want to say something? Yeah, second, separately. Second, separately combined flour, baking powder, and salt. Excellent. Thank you very much. Now let's go with Jorge Ernesto Lopez. First, combine both mixtures with milk. Excellent. Let's go with Noe Aníbal. For later, chill for one hour. Excellent. Let's okay. go with Edgar Edenilson. Okay, okay, inch thick. Yeah, your, your audio, I don't know what happens with your audio. Okay, excellent. Let's go with Adan Antonio. Next, cookies. Excellent. And finally, we're going to have Mauricio Antonio Rivera. Finally, day for 10 minutes. Okay, excellent. Good job. Okay, now 
we're gonna make a prog uh, like we're gonna mark some steps in progress. For example, do you know how to make chocobananti? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I, I don't think it's difficult, right? I think it's nah. pretty simple. Nah, it's not difficult. It's simple, simple, simple. Yeah. Yes, it's a very simple process. So we're gonna make that progress. We all together are gonna make it, okay? So let's see. What is the first step to make choco bananas? Mm, cook the chocolate. Are you sure? No. Or cook the banana? Put the, yeah. the banana at the fridge uh, to yeah. buy two days at most. <laughs> Okay, I think at first we cut well. Well, there is a bananas. The peel oh, the bananas. Banana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But here is the situation. Many people peel the bananas and they put the sticks on. Luego ponen los palitos. But in my case, I prefer to primero poner el palito y luego peel the bananas. Porque así no toco, o sea, más higiénico? I don't know. Something like that. So in my case, si vamos a hacer chocolate chiquitos, we cut first, bananas. First of all, oh. washing the hands. Yeah, Please. first. Well, yeah, yeah, correct. If we want to be, wait a moment. Yeah. So first, we, wait, la coma. First, we, wash our hands. Second. Disinfect the hands. <laughs> Cut the banana. Cut the banana. Cut the bananas. Cut the bananas. Third. Cut the palitos. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the, the sticks, the sticks, ah, the, the sticks. sticks. Yeah. How do you say peel? Peel. Peel bananas. Peel bananas. Yeah. Then we're gonna say then peel. I think it's peel or peel. Let me see. I don't know if it is double e or the, or e a. I don't remember. Peel. I think it's peel, peel, peel. Yeah, peel, correct, it's peel, with double E. Peel the bananas. And then? Mm -hmm. um, put the bananas oh. in the freezer. Exactly, put the bananas in the freezer. Okay, and then? Cook the chocolate later. Okay, later. Later. Melt. We're gonna Boy. say melt. Melt chocolate. Melt chocolate. chocolate. Right, chocolate. 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 Okay, and then. Mm. What time put the bananas in the freezer? One day. I don't know. Like, yeah, we're gonna use that. So we're gonna say. After that, put the bananas in the freezer for one day. Yep. Then really, really frozen, right? <laughs> so okay. we're gonna say here, the next day, right? To make it better, the next day, melt the chocolate. Right after, so what do we do right after? We dip oh. the bananas in the chocolate, right? Put chocolate. Deep, yeah. We're gonna use dip. You know deep. the dips they use for the party. So dip is the yep. word like hacer eso, like untar. <laughs> untar. The bananas in the chocolate. chocolate. And then you guys, finally, I think is the final step, right? Eat it. <laughs> no, we no. Put yeah. the topic. Oh. No, nope, yeah, we oh, okay. candies. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Pixie money. Yeah, Pixie you can say. Man. Then you can add you can a add. topping, right? 
And finally, you put it in the freezer again sometimes, right? You put it in the yeah. fridge again. We can say eat okay. it or place it, okay. place it. We're going to use, instead of saying put it, put it, put it, right? We're going to say okay. place it, like we got it. the freezer again. Yeah. Sale, sale the choco banana. In... Or sell. <laughs> Yeah, sell the choco bananas. Yeah, mm -hmm. choco bananas. Uh, those eat it or place it in the freezer again. Okay, ready. So now we are master chef, right? We completed it like master chef. <laughs> Por lo menos ya podemos ir a vender choco bananas, right? Excellent, good job, you guys. You did an amazing job. So we're gonna this continue. Is this is English class or cookies class? <laughs> <laughs> this is Gordon Ramsay's English class. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, I'm gonna go with the last attendance and then we go we go to Mimir, right? Because we wanna go Mimir, yes. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Adán Antonio uh, Ramirez Aguirre. I'm here. Miss. Carlos Amilcar Campos Valencia. Present, Miss. Daniel Enrique Sifontes Perdomo. Present. Edgar Edenilson Reyes Portillo. Edwin Alexis Pérez Hernández. Esmeralda del Rosario Portillo García. Present. Gabriela Yamilet Ramírez Ceciliano. Present, teacher. Jonathan Stanles Pérez López. Present, present. Okay, Jose Ernesto Alemán García. Present. Karen Berenice Castro Avelar, I'm sorry. Present. Marco Antonio Vanegas Cortleto. Present. Mario Antonio Reyes Berganza. Present. Mario Cristóbal Quintanilla. Marlon Fabricio Flores Vargas. Here. Marvin Enrique Arguello Joaquín. Present, Miss. Mauricio Antonio Rivera Rojas. Present, Miss. Miguel Ángel Cortés Campos. I'm here. Noé Aníbal González López. Ayer, Miss. Noé Gabriel Pérez Martínez. Present, Miss. Salvador Orlando Veracruz Gómez. Present. Sara Raquel Chávez Morán. Present. Sergio Adolfo Hernández Rosales. Present, Present Miss. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go. Uh, Isela Guadalupe Martínez Cruz. No? Okay, you guys. So that will be it for today, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. And me. Sorry, teacher. No lo mencioné. No. Present. Okay, pero le puse asistencia. Thanks. Por López Rivera. Okay. Yes. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Okay, you can now go to Mimir and I will see you tomorrow. Okay? Teacher, okay. tomorrow. Have a good, good night. night. Yeah? Good, good, good night. 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 Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.